In this lesson, we're going to begin discussing paragraph formatting. If you'd like to follow along, go under the file menu to open, and in the working files folder, go to chapter 7 and select paragraph panel, and just click open. Let's start by opening the paragraph panel. Just click on it. And we're going to be talking about the alignment features going across the top of the panel. Now, you may recognize some of these icons from other applications that you've worked with, like, for instance, Microsoft Word. To better see what's going on, I'm going to go to my Zoom tool and just click and drag across the top of my left-hand page. And let's start by just clicking in this first body copy paragraph underneath the subhead. Now, with paragraph formatting, all I have to do is either have an insert line in the paragraph or select part of the paragraph, and the formatting will apply to the entire paragraph. So, with an insert point, by default, my text is aligned towards the left. This is also known as flush left, rag right. Why don't I go to one of my subheads? and click on the next icon, which is Align Center. I can also align text towards the right. Let me do that. I'm going to click in my first paragraph again underneath that first subhead and click Align Right. Well, why would I ever want to use Align Right? There could be a number of reasons. Let me give you a quick example. Let's say I had a photograph to the right of a caption. Let's say this was a caption. To make it really obvious that this caption goes with the photograph to its right, I would want to use a line right. Let's talk about this next section, which is justify. The first three kinds of justify are exactly the same as each other, except for the last line. Let me show you. I'm going to click on this first one, which is the justify that you'll see most often. And you'll notice that it forces the words to spread out to go to the full measure, to the full width of a column or text frame. And the last line is aligned to the left. And you can see if I hover over this, it says justify with last line align left. The next choice is justify with last line align center. And you'll see the only thing that changes is now the last line is centered. Well, when would I ever use that? Let's say I was using justify type in a poster design. And in this poster, everything was symmetrical. So everything would need to be centered. And because of that, if I have body text, let's say under a picture, I would want everything centered, including the last line. But what about the next justify? Justify with last line aligned to the right. Well, if I was using justify type throughout a document, and this was a caption, and there was a picture to its right, I would want to make sure that all of the text went towards the picture to make it obvious that the caption actually goes with the picture to its right. But what about this next choice? Justify all lines, also known as force justify. Let me click on that. What it is doing is making all of the lines fully justified. So even the last line is justified to the full width. Let me select some other paragraph and apply it there. And you can see sometimes the spacing becomes way too much. But there are other things that justify all lines can be used for. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my page and then scroll over towards the right. And I just wanted to show you that there is a legal line down the bottom of my page. And right now it's just sitting there flush left. What if I force justified it? So I'm just going to click in that line and click on force justify. And you can see that it is adding an equal amount of space between each one of the words. But maybe I want to do something a little bit different. 
there is a command that's going to help me to divide my legal line up into equal sections. What I mean by equal sections is it's going to be three sections with an equal amount of space between them. Like, for instance, my first section is copyright 2013, infinite skills. And I'm going to select between the period and the word all. I'm going to go under my type menu to insert white space and choose something called a flush space. We'll be talking more about space in an upcoming lesson. But you can see it put all of the extra space where that flush space is. Let me turn on my invisible character so we can see what that looks like. I'm going to go under my type menu to show hidden characters. And I'm going to zoom in even further across the width of my margins. And you can see there's a special symbol for flush space. Well, now that I have a flush space, let me just copy it. I'm just going to select my flush space and copy it. Command C, Control C on a PC. And I'm going to select the space between my next two sentences and paste it in there. So anywhere that there's a flush space, it's going to force the space into the flush spaces. And if I have two flush spaces, it's going to divide up that space between the first one and the second one. Let me zoom out again to fit my entire page. So I'm going to hit Command-0 on a Mac, Control-0 on a PC. And go over to the full width of my spread. I'm just going to click and drag across the full width of my spread and let go. So it makes just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to click in my caption. And you can see right now it is aligned towards the right. But a line right is not chosen. Something else is. It's called a line towards spine. The other choice is a line away from spine. I'm going to leave it at a line towards spine. And you'll notice that it is aligning towards the right, towards the spine in the center of my spread. But if I go to my selection tool, the black arrow at the top of my tools panel, and click and drag this frame over onto the right-hand page, watch what happens with the type when I let go. It's still aligned towards the spine. You'll see it jumped right towards the spine, so it's aligning towards the left. So that is a very interesting feature. And as you can see, it's probably quite useful in some magazine layouts or newspaper layouts. In the next lesson, we're going to continue discussing paragraph formatting.